Okay, what we're going to create here is a 2D tile set with some collision detection and we'll also set up a really basic 2D character. So first step, we're just going to set up a 2D scene and we'll just save that just for use. Uh, let's make a new folder. Just call it 2D Levels or Levels 2D. Okay, so we've got a level, actually re let's rename that. And what we need to do is get some art assets to include. So what we're actually going to use is we could either have our own pre-made graphics, but I am just going to go and use Kenny.nl, a wonderful resource that if free to reuse, I do recommend crediting them and donating if possible. So we're going to go to our assets, and I'm just going to grab any of these packs. So there's a bunch of 3D assets. I'm just going to grab Tiny Ski. Let's download that. I've already donated in the past. So we've got our little download folder. I'm just going to extract the data out of that. Now what's awesome about the Kenny packs is that they come in with some examples so we can sort of preview what the pack's going to look like. We've got the individual tiles. For everything. And also the complete tile maps. So the packed ones basically have no spacing around them, which can be really useful. And then the standard tile map, which usually has a one or two pixel margin around the edge. So it doesn't matter which one you've got. So we're going to actually look at taking both of these tiled and tile or tile map and tiles into Godot. So we'll jump into Godot. I'm just going to open it in the file manager and just drag those pictures in. I probably should put them in an assets folder. But now it's imported the tiles. And we can see it's got a tile map here, the packed version as well as the individual tiles. So we're going to make the first assumption that we've already got a tile map with everything in it. So what we now want to do is go and add a child node and we're going to add a tile map object. Now by default it has no tile set so I'm just going to choose a to create a new tile set. And now down the bottom in the the panel, we've got tile map, tile set, and what we need to do is create what's called an atlas, which is a basically a lookup map of all the images. So I'm going to click on the plus, choose atlas. I'm going to stretch this out a little bit. At the moment, there's no texture set. So I'm going to go quick load or load and find the file I want to use. So mine was in tile maps. And I'm just going to take in normal time up because I'm going to show how we can set up the separation. So it opens it in, it creates the texture. I'm going to let it automatically create them. Now we can see they're not mapped up how we'd sort of want them to be. So I'm just going to add some separation. So one horizontal, that seems to have given the correct pixels that way. And I'm going to add one vertical. Now if we look at these tiles, they're all perfectly lined up which is absolutely brilliant. What I now want to do is look at maybe some collage slats. We'll just save that. Our basic tiles on our atlas. We can select the individual tiles that we want to do different things with. But first, in my setup, on my tile set, I'm going to jump up to well, actually tile map and open up my tile set over here. Now we can see we've got our train sets, physics layers. I am just going to worry about physics, so we can just add some collisions. Add an element, choose what layers it's going to be. Just, let's just leave it at one and one. And we're just going to select the different tiles that we want. So if you use the middle mouse, it will zoom around. And what I'm now going to do is select, I want my physics layer. 
kilometers from tiles, I'm going to add a rectangular polygon onto these. Okay, so I've now selected a tile, so jumped into physics. So in the select, jump into physics layer, select a tile, and I'm just going to reset to default shape. Let's add a tile onto this. Do the same for the next ones. So we can use the F key. We can also resize it. So in this one here, I don't actually want the whole rectangle. I don't want a collision on this one, nor a collision on this, but I do on this. So we use F. So we can sort of go around and modify what areas we want to actually have collisions on. So it's going to be the whole shape. drag this one in. If you want to add some extra points, we can. So we can use the little blue arrow to match up the shape. This one's going to be the hole. This one here, we're going to drag a few of these points in. So as you can see, we can set up our collision areas quite nicely. Let's move it once again with this one. If we use the little blue arrow, we can click on the line and draw the shape that we don't want. Real, really quite nice. F will always reset. And we can delete the shapes we don't want. So we can quite quickly set up our terrains. I'm not going to worry about any collisions on these other shapes. Okay, so here we go. We've finished setting up a tile map. We'll just save that again. What you might find quite useful is if you want to be able to use this tile map over and over, we can go and save one. And we can sort of save it as we need to. Okay, so let's jump back to our tile set. And we've got our level up here. We've got our tiles that we can work with. And what we're now just going to do, we can move the mouse. Let's just go and paint some tiles in. So to do that, we jump onto our tile map. And now we can just select the tiles that we want to use. So let's go and just create a little ski area using these tiles. So we can paint these through. So we're going to have a nice little area that our character can sort of move around in. Oh, don't want those, so let's go and change them to the ones we want. So we can just paint over top. And what should we have? Go for move down. No, it's, no, it's not that way, it's the other way around. the one and let's just bring this across nice and even and drag it round drag it round drag it round do a couple of little curves at the bottom a couple of bits straight up Let's get a few other textures in the middle. Okay, and let's just replace one of these. There we go. So we've now got our little level. So let's just save that. Press F6, just preview the screen. We've got that there. So now we've got our tile map. Let's just go quickly create a 2D character. I'm just going to throw in a character body. This is going to be a really rough one with a collision shape. 
we're just going to add a circle cushion shape and we'll add a sprite I'm just going to use one of the pre-made tiles let's see if we can find a skier on here so there we go, tile 82 put them in let's change Got a tile in, and what I'm going to do is now go and build a default script. So attach the script. I'm just going to use the default character template and jump back to my 2D view. Oh, that character is stuck there. Let's actually add a camera 2D to the character. So that should be lined up in the middle and let's just move our character over and down and we will just transform them just to basically half size so we'll just scale them to 0.5 here you can see our character has fallen down I mean at the moment it's only got our jump modes but we've got our basic character it's quite small, so let's change our zoom actually to like 5. Let's look at that. A lot nicer. And all of those collisions are working really nicely. So that's how we can create a tile map that's using a pre-existing tile map file. If you wanted to create your own tile map, so you've gone and got, created all your own individual images, much like we've got here with the Kenny package, what we're going to do is go into our file system, hold and shift, select all of the images that you want, go up to the import tab, we're going to change the import as a texture atlas, leave these other settings the same, make sure you give it a file name. You, know, you can click on the folder to choose where it's going to go. So I'm just going to put in level 2Ds. Uh, scheme map, and by default it saves it as a PNG. And then we've got to click reimport. It'll ask to basically save the scenes, reimport, and restart the editor. Might take a couple of minutes or a few seconds, depending on your processor. And now what we have, if we go into levels 2D, there is a whole file which is basically scheme app with you know the spacing in between them. So you can generate your own tile maps using this itself really quite convenient okay so that's our basics for creating and setting up a time app in good 04